Hey guys, I thought I'd do a video on waiting in publishing and why it's actually like a secret blessing that no one really talks about. So waiting happens at every stage of the publishing game because publishing is so slow. <laughs> it takes one, when you're querying to get an agent, you send out your query letter and then you wait sometimes weeks or months for that agent to respond uh, saying that they want to read your full manuscript and then you have to wait while that agent reads your manuscript and gets back to you on whether they want to offer you representation or not and so <laughs> then let's say you sign with your agent and they send your book out on submission to editors at publishing houses, you have to wait to hear back from those editors. And then after you get your book deal, um, you, it's, it's this really weird thing that I, not very many people talk about, but like, it's very exciting. They send you your offer, it gets announced in Publishers Weekly, and then you don't hear anything for a really, really long time. And then finally you get to talk to your editor and they send an edit letter. And that's just sometimes months and months later. And then you make your, your revisions and you send it back to them. And then it goes to copy edits. And then you end up waiting a, another like that long span of time. And just throughout the whole process, there's like a lot of waiting that happens. And I really do think that this has been an amazing blessing, at least for me. Because when I first started querying, uh, I, I sent out, I didn't know what I was doing really. I mean, I read a few things. I wasn't quite sure on my query letter. I wasn't even quite sure on my manuscript. I sent out a few query letters and uh, instantly got a full request from a, a really good agency. And I'm like, I don't wanna blow my shot. I waited the full three months uh, before that agent got back to me after reading my manuscript on whether or not they wanted to represent me or not. And that agent ended up passing, which they had good reason because everything wasn't ready yet. I did not know what I was doing. <laughs> and, um, but they gave me really good feedback on my manuscript on what they liked and what wasn't quite working. And I'm really glad that I didn't take that initial, uh, oh, I got, a, I got a full request from an agent as like an excuse to, or as motivation to send out a bunch of query letters to more agents thinking that like my initial pages were good and my, my query letter was good. So I just might as well send it out far and wide. Um, because in those early stages of querying, every time I got a full request from an agent, I forced myself to not query anymore and wait until I heard back from that agent or those multiple agents with feedback on my manuscript. And I was really lucky that those agents didn't just give a form like reject. They gave really good feedback on what grabbed them about the manuscript and what they liked about it, but where they started to lose interest or where things weren't working for them. And so it gave me a lot of opportunity to revise and revise and revise. And when you're, you send your stuff out there and then you wait to hear back, it gives you some time away from your writing. And then, you know, you're waiting a few months and then you, you kind of pick it up, pick up your manuscript like a month or two later. And you're like, you know what, the, these parts that I initially thought were really good actually can be a lot better. And so you, rev you revise them and you make them a lot better. And you also have that time to read other people's manuscripts and get feedback on your own manuscript from your friends. And by, by reading other people's work and getting feedback on your own uh, during kind of like the waiting process, your manuscript just can't help but get so much better. And even things that like, back when I first started querying that I thought were really, really good <laughs> things in the manuscript. Um, at some point along the waiting game and along the like 
the waiting process, I realized, wow, this thing that I used to think was really, really good is actually, it needs to be a lot better. Because I did a lot of growing up in the whole creation and querying and finding representation and ultimately finding a publisher. Like I became kind of a, di a different person who was more mature and more an understanding of the world and relationships and people. And so I had the chance to go back and put my newfound knowledge into my manuscript and make it more nuanced and better and make the characters richer and make, make the plot challenges more juicier, I guess you could say. And also like the representation of disabilities and the representation of the um, personal, individual, authentic experiences of these characters, a lot more nuanced than like say back in the 2015 version of my manuscript where I'm like, this is so great, but actually no, it needed, it needed to, uh, to grow up a little bit. So all of this like waiting, it's not this, oh gosh, I have to wait. This is so awful. I, my manuscript's so good. It just needs to get out there and all this waiting is pointless. The waiting is what allowed my little, my little plant, my little manuscript plant to grow and blossom and like parts got pruned off. And now, you know, it's like, it takes time for even like a cooking metaphor. It takes time for your dough to rise, right? It, you have to, you have to like wait for it and you have to wait for like the chemical reactions. And so, so, so Anyway, waiting in publishing is a blessing. I am so, so glad that the version of my manuscript that I have now is what's going to get published and not the 2015 version of my manuscript. Um, and I, even now, as I'm waiting for copy edits, I have recently picked up my manuscript again and all these things that, you know, they're just little things that I'm like, you know what, I can make this line hit a lot better. And also I don't need this paragraph and I don't need this line. And I think I can go deeper here. Um, yeah. And so what I'm doing because yeah, I'm waiting for a copy edits. I'm just kind of making a list of things I want to change so then I can implement those changes when I get the copy edits. And I, yeah, I guess the moral of this little video is like the embrace the waiting, embrace that this is your chance to let things marinate for a little while. And then in a month or so, you're, you'll pick up your manuscript and you'll see it with fresh eyes and you'll, you'll bring your new, your growing up that you've done over the past month or so and your understanding of nuance and your, your reading that you've done in the past and you'll be able to see things and go, you know what, I can make this better. I can kind of refine this part a little bit more and I think I can, you know, use this and, and, and finesse it in a way to make it better. Um, so waiting is great because you don't want to just publish lots of stuff to publish lots of stuff. You want to publish the best version of your art that you can and the version of your art that will speak to someone and help put your message and your whatever it is that you're trying to put out in the world out in the world. So I hope this has been helpful. Embrace the waiting. Um, if you are finding yourself in a waiting situation um, because it's 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 so going to make your manuscript better when you finally dive back into it and see all the things that that can be improved on it okay i hope this was helpful